pressure on them. Yeah. Put the pressure on them. Yeah. Two shots to the head. That's what I call an extra bonus. Woo. I have been pleasantly surprised by the amount of games that have been getting uh, remasters or re-releases on these new generation consoles. I have also been pleasantly surprised by the improvements that have come along with these games that have been remastered or re-released. Um, I don't know what Sega's doing though. Shinmu looks terrible for this day and age. It looks like all they did was took the Xbox, the OG Xbox port, and ported it over to the new consoles. Um, I, I, I am really, really, really bothered by this particular ordeal. I, I, I was super hyped to get Shinmu 1 and 2 and anticipating Shinmu 3. But now that I take a closer look at what they have released as, as, as a way of showcasing what you will get, I, I must say that I am not satisfied with the final products. Um, now, with that being said, I'm usually an early adopter of everything. Even if I don't play it right away, this I cannot support. This I will be supporting at a later time, usually somewhere around the time where it's in the bargain bin, maybe even buy it digitally when it's like five bucks or something like that. But I'm pretty sure that they're releasing this at 30 to 40 US dollars, right? I don't know for sure because I haven't had I haven't seen the pricing or what the pricing structure is going to be for this. If they try to push push $60 for this bullshit, I, I would hope that a lot of people don't go out and support this. I, I really would. Um, when you see what people can do with games like Shadow of the Colossus that were originally on the PS2, um, and then you turn around and see what they've done with Shin Mew 2, which was on the Xbox OG, there is no excuses for this. I know that they said something about the engine. It was super hard, you know, for them to be able to go in and, you know, change up the assets. I think that's bullshit. I think that they put this out in a rush because they're trying to get it out before Shinmu 3 actually releases and I do think that Shinmu 3 is on its way. The problem with this is is it looks like they put no effort into the game. I mean, right now you can get Yakuza, which is a much better looking game, much better playing game, and you would get the equivalent of what you're seeing. Actually, you would get more. You know, you would get more bang for your buck uh, by going out and purchasing the Yakuza series outside of the Shinmu 1 and 2. This game is so poorly ported and the fact of the matter is, is that you still have people trying to defend this. There is no defending this. I mean, I'm a huge Sega fan. I have no problems with Sega. I don't think Sega is a piece of shit company like a lot of people do, but I cannot defend this at all at all if you guys don't believe me I, I feel like i'm gonna tell you how i feel right i feel like xbox could have did a better job at at at, at changing this game at, at giving it a better coat of paint so to speak than sega did with their own property i mean when you look at the likes of like let's say Red Dead Redemption on the uh, Xbox One with the enhancements and sh uh, stuff like that, right? And then you turn around and see this game? You're like, what in the hell is this? I mean, this just, it, it really doesn't make any sense that this game looks the way that it does, right? Now, let's talk about the way it's going to play. If they haven't done anything, if they were unable to change certain aspects in the engine, you shouldn't expect much more from the control scheme. If the uh, if the control scheme was antiquated then, you're probably going to have an antiquated control scheme now. That's just what it is because if their excuse is we couldn't go back and change the assets because of how the engine was and we didn't have the ability to go back and upgrade or up-res the textures and shit like that, then what are they gonna be able to do with the control scheme? I mean, there's a lot of reasons why people should be worried that I think they aren't worried, but 
I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, I'm not trying to start no like fake outrage for nothing. I mean, but this game definitely doesn't look like they did anything. It doesn't look like they put anything into it. And I'm just a little disappointed, that's all. I'm just a little disappointed in Sega. I would imagine that Sega would put more quality into their games, but um, this just this just doesn't sit right with me. And I, and I just can't, I can't defend it, man. I wouldn't defend it. I don't defend bad practices. I, I just don't. If something seems bad, I will call it what it is. And this, this is bad. But either way, that's all I really wanted to say on this, man. Will you be picking up Shinmu 1 and 2, the re-releases, or are you guys going to wait until it goes to the bargain bin? Uh, please discuss it down below in the comments. You guys have a great rest of your day. Deuces.